In this part of this ballistics tutorial, we are going to take a look at properties of EV barrel. Uh, let's get started by spread. This is the inaccuracy of the EV barrel itself. In case the bullet has uh, spread two, uh, this two will add up. Muzzle velocity minimum and maximum also multiply the same parameter in the bullet and again uh, uh, in case these two aren't the same a random number between those two will be selected for each shot fire rate is of course the number of projectiles the weapon can fire in a second and uh, we have selectable fire mode following fire modes are available you have full auto which of course means that as long as the trigger is held it will keep firing you have semi-auto which will release trigger after each shot and needs to be manually uh, refired however it will automatically load next shot unlike manual which uh, needs to be manually charged to manually charge uh, you have function called simply charge like this so let's create a new, new input mapping let's just also call it charge and let's map it let's say to right mouse button like this and we're going to manually charge every time this uh, event is fired like this and now every, every time I fire I cannot fire anymore unless I manually charge the weapon with the right mouse button and related to this is a slam fire mode uh, this is similar to manual except uh, it doesn't automatically release the trigger after shot in other words when I hold down the trigger and I charge the weapon it will instantly fire the next shot this is uh, typical for uh, like range guns or uh, it could be used for let's say mortar or similar weapons and uh, final two options are burst which uh, works as expected uh, you have option to select burst count and every time you press trigger it will fire the selected number of shots and there's also interruptible burst which works the same except if you release the trigger mid burst uh, it's going to interrupt it okay uh, next we have ammo now um, uh, barrel can uh, go through ammo in uh, one of two basic modes and uh, those are switched between um, by turning on or off cycle ammo when it's turned on the amount of uh, ammunition in magazine is uh, set by this variable cycle ammo count so if i set let's say five in here and of course i turned off uh, unlimited which of course means uh, it will never run out but now when it's off and i fire five shots i can no longer shoot unless I somehow change this number uh, back from zero into something else again there are multiple ways to do that uh, you could of course uh, manually just change the variable like this however I do not recommend this um, because there is a dedicated function for that called set ammo 
Now uh, there are uh, two functions here called setmo and setmo server. I will cover those in uh, a multiplayer or replication tutorial. If it's a single player game, uh, it doesn't matter which one you use. So let's go with this one. And I've already created a uh, reload input event. So I'll just link it like this. And as you can see here, in addition to count, it has a couple extra options. Unlock chamber will remove the bullet that's in chamber in case there is one. Now, uh, if this is uh, turned off, and uh, you let's say uh, have some bullets left, and let's say you change count to five, uh, you will actually have six shots because in addition to five that will go into magazine the sixth one will still remain in chamber. Cancel shooting will abort any either auto fire or burst that's currently going on and the manual charge will not automatically load uh, first new bullet into chamber, uh, you have to do it manually. And you have uh, here array called new ammo, and you can of course here select the type of ammunition that's in uh, the new magazine. Now you can have uh, either just one entry, or you can have multiple ones, so let's say you have uh, multiple types of ammunition. Let's duplicate this one. Let's just call it bullet two. Yeah. And uh, here you can uh, basically create a mix of uh, ammo that's going to be in this new magazine. So let's say bullet two would be a tracer, and you will create a mag with just two just simple bullets and one tracer, every third one will leave trail. You can of course also create multiple entries for the initial ammo load. So you can have something like this. And final option for this mode is uh, cycle ammo pause or position which will uh, select which one of these will be loaded next. Now, if you turn off cycle ammo, none of these options will apply anymore. And the only thing that matters is the contents of uh, the ammo array, because uh, now it's going to basically delete each, um, each entry every time it uh, loads next bullet. In other words, um, this is what you have in the magazine. It doesn't cycle through it. Once you fire all three, it's empty. And of course, uh, if this is off, the count uh, in set ammo also doesn't work and only this array matters. Um, however, those three work same as before. And again, if I missed something or didn't explain something properly, please let me know in the comments.